Friday Mill Mustangs. It's Mrs. Jonas and Mrs. Weir. Usually we come to you with some lighthearted fun or we do a riddle and um, we have some fun on Friday mornings. But right now we need to share some serious information with you. So home-based teachers, we are asking that you monitor the class right now to be sure that all students are not doing anything but paying attention to video announcements. Please make sure you are listening carefully to the next few minutes for what Mrs. Weir and I have to share with you. We wanna really address hallway behavior. With everyone at full capacity, we have over 800 students in our building, sometimes changing classes at various times, being very full. It's extremely important that you're staying to the right and that your hallway behavior is exceptional. By that, I mean you are not touching each other, you're not putting your hands on one another, you're not playing a game, quote unquote, where you're slapping each other's necks or even trying to tug at each other's shorts or pants. Students, when we're meeting with some of the kids that are victims to this kind of behavior, what we're hearing is, well, Mrs. Jonas, we're friends, or Mrs. Weir, we were just horsing around. Those don't exist. Mrs. Weir and I, if we were friends, I wouldn't go up to her and neck her at the back of the neck. That kind of activity is unacceptable at Mill, and we want to be very straight and clear with you right now that it will not be tolerated inside of our buildings. Mrs. Weir and I have spent a lot of time in the past one to two weeks talking to students who are having these things happen to them, and it's often leading to students not wanting to come to school. That's unacceptable. I absolutely do not want somebody to wake up in the morning and not want to come to school for fear of being pants, for fear of being hit on the back of the neck, for fear of being kicked. So this is really a stern warning to you to understand that there are large consequences that follow for behavior like this, up to and including out of school suspension. Mrs. Weir and I are also responsible to report out to the state if we have any sexual harassment that happens on campus. And certain behaviors that are starting to come to our attention could possibly be sexual harassment. It's a very serious thing. Please understand that we want you to come and report anything that you are seeing to us. You can do that in person. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can send us a WITS mail. Remember, it's not tattling. Tattling is, is just saying something to get someone into trouble. We really want to implore you to come and to tell us what's happening so that we can do something about it. It's important that everyone feels safe in this building. And the more that we know, the more that we can do things about it. And students, we often hear kids say, I don't want to snitch, or they'll go home to their parents and say, oh, I don't want to snitch. When somebody's being hurt, whether it's emotionally or physically, coming to tell an adult to get involved so that it can be stopped is not snitching. So if you're watching something happening and you're um, not reporting that and you're, you're afraid of snitching, then you're really part of the problem. And we want to give you the courage to be able to come to an adult and share what's going on. You always have somebody at home that you can talk to. They can call us. There's trusted adults, many of them in this building that you're close with, you can choose to talk to. Or at all times, like Mrs. Weir said, pop open your laptop and send us a wits mail. When we investigate what you're sharing, we will not share your name. And we really just are doing this so we can get to the bottom of what's going on. It's very important to us that every student feels safe when they come to campus. And if we have this kind of behavior happening, it will not create a safe environment. So please remember that Mrs. Weir and I take things like this very seriously. All teachers and um, staff have their eyes open for any inappropriate hallway behavior, and we are asking them to report it to us as well, and they have been. So please remember what we expect. We expect you to be safe and responsible, stay to the right in the hallway, keep your hands to yourself, and get to your class so you can do what you're here to do at Mill. Thanks, and we'll see you next week where all means all here at Mill. Bye. I'm here to tell you to listen up for announcements on Monday. We're starting our first community service project and we want you to be involved.
everyone, it's Miss Beckinghausen here just to remind you that Homework Club has started. It is every Tuesday and Wednesday from 3.40 to 4.30 in room B1. We've had a lot of students come and start the club with me and I look forward to working with everyone in the future. Have a good day. At Mill Each Week, we will be featuring someone throughout history that inspires all of us to stand up for others, lead the way, and change the game and make the world a better place. This week's inspiration is Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo was born in Paris, France to Chinese parents and was educated in New York City. He was a child prodigy and started performing at age four and a half. He graduated from both Juilliard, which is a prestigious school for music performance, and Harvard University. He has earned 18 Grammy Awards, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and many other music and humanitarian awards. Yo-Yo Ma has been cited commonly as one of the greatest cellists of all time. Yo-Yo Ma is an inspiration to every budding musician. Many people are inspired by Yo-Yo because he did things that some would think are impossible. He pushed through boundaries and become, became one of the most famous cellists by taking the musical language beyond its limits. He motivates people to push themselves to their highest potential. Yo-Yo Ma is also a humanitarian and a great and well-rounded person. This is someone to look up to and learn li and listen so much about. Music, like all of culture, helps us to understand our environment, each other, and ourselves. Culture helps us to imagine a better future. Culture helps turn them into us. And these things have never been more important. Yo-Yo Ma. Stay tuned for next week's Game Changer at Mill. Have a good day.